Hello guys, me again JP. Welcome to another episode of Life on Block Study. <clears throat> People on the server right now, just so you know. Today we're entering the nether. That's it. Episode over. What is all this? So oh, a new hub has been constructed. I have a tunnel in this one. Of course, it happens to be the one that does not have a freaking... ...way to get up. Oh, lag. Damn it. All this freaking lava is lagging me. Let's just pour water over all of it. But yes, I have a tunnel... where is it? Here? Oh my god. The Friendship Tube Mark II. I've already built myself a rail. Oh my god. How can there be so much lag? But yes, everything still goes it goes to the exact place. Exact same place as before. Just a slight detour. I'll leave that there because I'm going to come right back. Uh, the fortress is... Oh. Scared the shit out of me. Fortress is still there. Everything's just covered up with cobble now. And my tunnel is through here. <laughs> what? This is the most random thing that's ever been stated on this server. Uh, I need to make TNT, that's why I came over here. I have a crap load of... Uh... Let's see, what's... how's it go? One, two, three, four... And then, like this. Alright, that's TNT. Yeah. And then I can make... 16 more. That should be playing. Did I pick it up? Oh. I guess my sound's really way down. Uh, I don't need this obsidian, I don't think. Uh, leave my saddle... Here. Yeah, I'll leave it here. Oh, the leather was over here. What am I doing? All my stuff's all... I do believe I will need a flint and steel, so let me find a flint here. Uh, nothing there. Here we go. Oh, I have one here already. Uh, inner pearls. Good on pearls. And now we head back. It's a meat chuck. Now we we don't have a team name, I don't think, but we are in fact a team now, along the lines of the B team and such. 
Only we don't do anything constructive. We mostly just destroy things so far. As you may remember, he was present for... It's all the pigs. He was present when I blew up the cube's head. And that was pretty much the start of our little partnership, if you will. With him just kind of being present for things. And now we've been organizing stuff together. Well, we did actually did do something constructive. We built the... Oh, well, you didn't see it, so... If I head back out there, you'll see it. But At spawn, we're building a big clock tower along the lines of... Big Ben and... I don't want to say we're copying B-O-O, because we're not trying to make a little... A small... Western clock tower. We're trying to make a full-size... Crazy clock tower. Oh. Alright, where is he? He's in the, the black one, I think that's the one it was. The coal one or something. Yeah. Is that what that looks like? I see a pig man. I assume he's down here. His tunnel is significantly fancier than mine. But, I have the only rail, so screw you guys. Um, yeah, I guess we're going here. And we're through. I wonder if you can see me. Where the hell are we? Uh, not quite as far as where I am. I don't think you can see me. Alright guy, where do you need me? I didn't bring a bed, so... Am I blowing up a mountain? Or this... I don't want to see... That's the problem with Minecraft, the scale of things is kind of wonky. What feels like a mountain is not a mountain. It's usually just a hill. Well, level this with with TNT. They're gonna die up here anyways. They're mine now. Let's. See what we can do here. Uh, let's see. It's dirt, so it'll go three blocks. Two, three. Uh, go. Ah, oh, what the hell was that? Anybody else hear that? <laughs> oh, I should just knock him off of here and be done with it. Uh, 
Oh my god. So incompetent. Move, guy. Ah! Son of a bitch. I will kill you with one shot. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. I don't think he knows what's going on most of the time. <laughs> oh. Wow. That one was a good one. I do kind of need the dirt, so I don't really need the dirt. Never waste a block. Uh, now you can just simply give it a one on top. In some of the places that didn't get blown out. I am one of these strong believers in using TNT for its intended purpose. By which I mean... Like this, clearing out large areas of land. It's perfect for it. I'll use a couple more here. That's going pretty good. The other part only did so badly because I think it was hollow underneath. Hey, I see you. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. Ah, oh, this is the best part about being on a server with with mostly adults. The language. It's like being with Milby, I imagine. So casual.
<laughs> uh, this is great. It's the best conversation we've ever had on the server. Uh, let's see, what else can I blow up here? Check out that Enderman. It's like... It's like the chosen one. It's, it's the circle of life of Enderman. Wait! Come over here with that. I think we're almost done here. No, does he want it really that far down? Does that make sense? That's a whole new story. Uh, let's line these suckers up. If he does want it that far down, I can do this. Yeah. Arrows. Let's get out of the way. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, I don't I can't exactly blow up water. But what I can blow up is this tall spot here. Happy face. Uh, here? Oh no! Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know you still got experience from blowing up the coal. That's interesting. That didn't do as much damage as it looks like it should have. Let's put one here. Try to level this out. That should hit all three. Yep. Yeah, I like my little auto smelter. It's nice and simple. Not overly complicated with all kinds of redstone and crap involved. It's just chests and and hoppers. That's it. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> nice. 
I may have protection armor, but I do not have blast protection armor. Blast protection armor prevents a lot of the knockback from a blast, by the way. Hey. We're almost done here, actually. Oop. I'm hopping all over the place. There was another one I could hit, right? No, that was it. Uh, let's do here. Oh. Alright, how far along are we? Not bad. Uh, this I can all hit super fast with this. A little bit more precise than just blowing it up. And I have 12 left. Um, let's see. One here. Or one block lower. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, everything needs to be kind of at the same level as the water, I think. Mm hmm. Let's hit this. Almost perfect. Much better. Uh, more dirt. I can just get the dirt myself with my mystical badge spoon. And now I can go show you We Ah, oh, I got a love for the phone. Prevents you from pulling a vintage beef. Now I can go show you the the t the, bleh, 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 the clock tower we bleh, oh my god my my brain just has completely shut off as far as language goes <clears throat> Now I can go back to spawn and show you the clock tower that me and Chuck started building now we haven't built the top part yet the actual clock because Keebs wanted to make it a working clock so he's gonna have to deal with all the redstone and stuff, and then we can build the outside around it. But until then, it's just a weird looking tower. Ah, grape juice. So obviously, through the center is spawn. They had to put that there because a gas spawned there the other day and shot at me. I don't know why they, they couldn't just put half slabs on top. Probably would have saved some trouble. Here it is. Here's the tower. It 
let's see. Uh, well, that's mine, actually, the quartz. But yes, this is the the outside design we went with. It's it's got a beacon in the middle. Right now, it does regen and resistance. Nice simple staircase. Goes up to the top. You can see all the things. I don't know. Well, it's. I was gonna say, is that part of that? I don't know why that's there. I think that's where we were supposed to build the clock tower, but we didn't. We built it over the beacon instead. Uh, now I can go show you one other thing. <clears throat> and then we'll call it a little episode. I can everything's all everything looks exactly the same, so I get confused really easy. Oh, what they're up to. Uh, this is the portal that takes you to the end. Well, it doesn't take you to the end. It takes you to the, the fortress, or the stronghold, where the end is located. Shortcut. Instead of going by land. Somehow this way. In we go. And this time, instead of... Hey. I could have sworn I put... Huh. I could have sworn I put... To... Things there. Half slabs. Slabs. Instead of... We're not going to the grinder, if that's what you were thinking. Instead, we're going to my, my new residence. I have a new house located here in the end. It's still there. Nobody tore it down. Okay, yeah, it's still there. I decided, you know what? Where is the most peaceful place in the entire game right now? The end. Because somebody half slabbed the entire end. There's no dragon. There's no enderman. Creepers won't spawn here. No skeletons, no spiders, no nothing. So, this is the most peaceful place. And it has the the best sky ever. So this is my house. No soliciting. I've already got myself set up here with minimal supplies. Yeah, everything's good here. I would put a bed, but I would honestly keep thinking I need to use it and then probably just blow my house up. If you use a if you use a bed in the end, it blows up. By the way, uh, the stuff I used to make the place. How much glass? I still had. Okay. I made myself a little farm here in the end, just in case I need food while I'm here. Even though I have stack of steak while me at all times. Uh, yeah. Everything's pretty good here in the end. Oh, with a pretty simple little house design. Wooden beams for, for structure. Cobblestone for the walls. Nice windows. Well, the reason this is up instead of down is because... An Enderman spawned in here once, so I went ahead and slabbed the floor. Which means I kind of had to raise everything by half a... half a block. Because normally I'd have a... I'd have the top half of these closed off and just the one little layer. But obviously being eye level with this means I had to have that open. Other than that, no problems here. Glowstone for lighting. Uh, the roof is slabs and stairs, so they shouldn't be able to spawn up there. Mm, planted some trees just for just for a nice effect. Built myself a little 
a little wall around my property. But yeah, already the the end is already nicer than spawn because there's still nothing at spawn other than the tower. But yeah, not much going on here. Just I just built a little house. I don't even have I didn't even have a real reason to do it. Just just felt like having a house. Uh, let's see. Let's go back home. And here we are. I have the box of rail, the magic box. Empty the the previous diamond stuff I made before I got this set. Apparently everybody is abandoning the server all at once. If you may remember, I had three horses here before. Well, including the donkey. I had the donkey, the black and white one, and a black one. I went ahead and took the black one. And put my diamond horse armor on him and tied him to a fence. So now I have a, a very nice black horse. Not that I ever need it. But, yeah. Yes, this is my simple auto smelter. Uh, just a chest at the top. Hop underneath it. Furnace. Now, when you want to put fuel into a furnace, you have to do it at the side. So that's what this one's doing. You can put the fuel in here, and it just dumps into there. And every time it uses one, it dumps another one in. And at the bottom, it... It removes whatever you've put in there, so I'll let's go ahead and put uh, a couple in there to show you. It automatically fills it all the way up. And it automatically takes it out and puts it in the chest. The only problem with this system is that you do not get the XP for smelting. So... As long as you're not relying on that, it's fine, but it's not bad. Extra steak. It's random. Anyways, that'll do it for today's episode. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Life on Block City. Hopefully I'll... I might have a little adventure for you for next time. So, bye-bye.